so we are discussing about advanced php concept and we have discussed about lots of topics and with the example and today we are going to show you the one of the inheritance concept so basically today we will show you the multiple inheritance so there are various types of inheritance so in this diagram we can see two types of inheritance that is single inheritance and multi-level inheritance so here the a is the parent class and these are calling from b so b is the child class so the properties or you can say the methods are coming from class a and we can use from the b by extending the a class so this is the single level inheritance in the second this is multi-level inheritance so the parent of b is a and the parent of c is b so basically c can be used the property of a and b if b extends a and c extends b so this is the multi-level inheritance so what will be if we use the multiple inheritance so here the two main class that is class a is the different class and class b also is the different class and we want to access the class a's property and as well as class b's property so how we can do this so first thing is that php cannot support multiple inheritance so how we can do this so here the solution is the traits we can use traits and we can call the multiple class from the child class basically traits are used to declare methods that can be used in multiple class it can have a methods can have abstract method also that can be used in multiple classes and traits property or method can be used any type of access modifier such as public private protected so let's take an example and trying to implement multiple inheritance concept with the help of traits so here to declare the traits we just need to use the trait this is the keyword to declare any traits so i am declaring my first trait so write first trait okay and here i am creating a function that is public function info okay so info one we are going to create another methods uh, name as info two so just return some text from this so right here from first trait okay and just copy the same things and create another trait so here just write the second trait so write second trait and here just change the method name that is input 2 and write the second okay so there are two traits and we have the two different function so now i want to create a class and we want to call this info and input 2 using the first trait and the second trait so how we can use this so just create a class so write a class suppose my class name is my class okay and we need to call traits by not using extends or implements so just write here the use so with the help of use we can call the traits so here write the first trait and we can add the multiple trait using comma separator so just write the comma and write the name of second trait so if we use this way that can also be possible so write here this and use so that is the same so i am writing in the inline so just remove this all things and here use the comma and if we call this class by creating any object so just create an object that is dollar obj equal to new my class so i am creating the object that is name of the object is dollar obj and write obj and just going to call the info one so this is the first method that is info one 
so write info one and just add the echo here and if you go to the browser we can see the output that is from first rate so if we want to call the second also we can get the access of info 2 using the same object so just write here echo br to print the things in the new line so if you go to the browser we can see the from first rate and from second rate so you can see how simply we can achieve the multiple inheritance with the help of trade so basically there can have a multiple trades and there can have a multiple functions multiple variables properties whatever we have just like a class and in the same way if we have multiple this type of class so basically this is the trades and we can use in the same class so from multiple parent property we can access from a single class okay so just like multiple inheritance but with the help of traits so this is one of the big concept of inheritance so if you go to any framework after learning the advanced php suppose there are lots of known framework that is coordinator laravel and there are lots of framework so so all these cases you can find this traits concept so this is very important to know about the traits concept okay so if you have any queries about this video please comment in the below comment section so next day we are going to show you what is static method okay so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day bye